Hey everyone, this is Pig for Life. Uh, sorry for the last minute notice, but uh, I decided I was going to do a review of this, a live stream review, uh, only literally a couple minutes ago. Um, I've been feeling under the weather today, um, but decided to tough through it just so, uh, uh, there you go, just so um, you guys can get a quick review of this um, for those of you guys who've been waiting on an IDW roller. So, Let's get started with packaging review. Like I said, this is from Mastermind Creations reformatted line. There are 34 cylindrus, command officer, and this is an, another retool of the uh, original Tarn mold, which has seen so many retools, I can't even remember all of them. I know they did that one Optimus, they did uh, the Thunderclash, they did, oh, man, I don't even know anymore. They did a lot. Anyway, so we are finally getting Roller, um, which kind of makes sense. I think a lot of people were expecting this since uh, a lot of people were actually thinking that Roller was Tarn, and their body styles and, and type are very similar. The box is pretty plain. Um, same stuff we got on, uh, as usual. No window this time. A lot of images on the back, and actually some of these images aren't even that correct, given that, um, given that uh, this actually has a translucent um, windshield piece now. So... Uh, on the bottom, all this information about Mastermind Creations, their Facebook page, etc., 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 and I will get official transformation video of this up in the next couple days. Uh, as far as things that are included, we do have the instruction manual on the card. We have the clamshell with Cylindris himself, and then a couple of accessory packs. So we do have a blaster and a little Energon drink that Roller is known for uh, downing every once in a while to keep himself powered up. And then, um, as with some of the other releases that they've had recently, like Stray, one of their re revisions of Stray and stuff, you actually have some cloth um, cape or, or scarves with um, some metal wire along the edges to help you with posability. And they're double-sided. All right. As far as instructions go, we do get the dual instructions slash comic book which, again, I never try to spoil. We have our plastic card here with Cylindrus and uh, pretty amazing stats aside from his speed. Is this the instruction side? No. So here are the instructions. Uh, the one thing I will say is they do have a photo gallery of their uh, Thesaurus, which is upcoming. I think a lot of people are excited about that. And I think that's it. The rest is comics on this side. So credits to Hino Mars 19 and Hector Sigma. Again, for that, let's put these accessories off to the side for now and actually get into the figure itself. Nice little clamshell. And sorry, I'm uh, trying to rush through this just because, like I said, I am a little bit under the weather. So if I'm not as uh, engaging as I usually am, that's probably why. Um, I still function McRib. What? I don't know what this, I don't know what McRib is about. Anyway, let's do a quick 360 of his alt mode. And you can see, like I said, this nice translucent blue, uh, like light blue is really nice looking. He looks pretty much like every other version of this mold. He does have like the rear covers here. He does have uh, eight, eight sets of wheels or four sets of wheels, I guess. On the bottom, he looks pretty much the same as always. Nothing really different about this version of the mold, I would say, that um, really stands out except the coloring. And the coloring does look very accurate to the uh, IDW iteration itself. Yeah, and especially the robot mode looks really accurate. The alt mode, definitely not. And the alt mode, if you guys remember, it's more kind of like this front end with like a trailer um, as a back part, which kind of harkens back to his trailer mode in G1, which I guess he eventually becomes at some point. But um, again, it's really kind of hard to uh, make this robot mode look like um, Milne's uh, alt mode. Anyway, but overall it looks really nice. Nice painted details, orange, silver, etc., uh, etc. Et um, mine does have a kind of a weird deformation here, which doesn't allow it to sit straight. So what you're supposed to be able to do with this gun, as with some of the others, is use this little slot and these um, two halves, you're supposed to be able to slot them together because mine's kind of deformed here, hopefully yours is not. I have a lot of trouble doing that, so I might not be able to showcase that. Oh, there we go. So yeah, there we go. 
And obviously this harkens back to Optimus Prime's kind of iron blaster, his gun, which again is accurate to um, Roller's iteration in More Than Meets the Eye. All right, the other accessory we'll get into, other accessories we'll get into once we actually get them into robot mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's make sure, all right. Uh, what transformer is that one? Uh, this is Ro Robert Richardson. Uh, this is Roller or Cylindrus, as the MMC name goes. But it's IDW Roller, more than meets the eye Roller. All right. So transformation is pretty much the same. Uh, what I'd like to do first is just kind of get this piece out of the way. Just extend these pieces, flip them up, and rotate them around. You can fold this piece underneath. And again, just kind of getting them up out of the way because you want the legs to clear. Uh, come back here before you do anything else with the legs and go ahead and pull these back on these double hinges and fold it like so. So you can do it straight, but you actually want it to fold up on itself like that. There's two pegs or tabs that go underneath the feet here. You want to do that, split the legs, extend the ratcheted knees, double jointed knees like so. Straighten out the feet. And um, they say in the instructions, what you want to do is fold these back and slide them down. I actually don't like that, um, especially if you look at Milne's version of Roller. He actually has wheels showing up on the side. Um, it's not as accurate. If this was a kind of like rotated around, it'd be very accurate. But this is, I think, quote unquote, more accurate. Uh, but again, you have options. You can just fold it back, you can leave it up, or you can fold it back and roll it down. It's really up to you, but I'm going to leave it like that. Let's scooch this up a bit. All right. For the upper body, you're going to untab the forearms from the hips. You can see these two tabs here go straight into those oddly shaped peg holes there. Straighten out the double jointed arms at the elbows. Rotate the fist 90 degrees. There we go. You can fold the canopy back with a windshield back like so. Get the chest in and fold it in on itself. There's a slot here with a giant tab that this resides in. Open up the back, flip out Roller's head sculpt, which is actually quite nice. Close that back up, and tab this back in. And then you just deal with this backpack. So the backpack, you just kind of fold these pieces back. You'll see these circular spherical indentations. That's where the wheels will reside. And you just rotate these all the way around so that the wheels are basically facing them, uh, touching the back. Yeah, uh, like I said, Robert, like if you like it like this, that's cool. If you, I personally just like it like this, uh, but it's up to you. But with that, we already have cylindrus or, oh, sorry, the one thing I did forget is to rotate these shoulder pieces forward. And that gives him his actual accurate silhouette on the shoulders as well. Sorry about that. But with that, we have him in robot mode. Looks quite nice. His blaster just slides right in. There's no like tab, like MP style. You just kind of slide it in. Close up the fists, and like I said, the little other accessory that you have is a little his, en his little energon drink, so you can recreate that pose that he has on one of the one of the comic issues. He kind of holds it with his forefinger and thumb, he has a little pink straw, and you can kind of butts with it. If you want, you can actually slide it into his hand itself, but I don't bother with that. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. And I'm doing a 360. I mean, I do kind of like that this makes it a little bit more clean. So maybe if you want to do it like that, even on the box art itself, they, they kind of jump back and forth between how they transform the legs. So it's really up to you. Articulation wise, let's get this out of the way. He has a ball jointed head. Uh, let's see, let me get to, to some comments first before I move over. Uh, I still function says, I haven't read any of the IDW comics, but how accurate is the vehicle mode and bot mode in your opinion? So like I said before, the um, the alt mode's not that accurate, but the robot mode is actually very accurate. I actually did 
a quick comparison. And what I do, uh, I was gonna say what I do my full review, but I'm not actually gonna do a full review on this. Um, you can actually see though, Milne's design for the robot mood is very accurate to this from just the designs of the toes as opposed to being forked toes on some of the versions of this mold, the knee pads, um, the shoulder design. The only inaccuracy that I really see besides the backpack, the kind of big backpack, is again, the wheels should kind of be facing forward, I think, like rotated around. That's the only quote unquote inaccuracy I would really complain about as far as uh, the comic goes. But otherwise it looks really great. Uh, oh, so articulation, his neck is also on kind of a swivel, so he can do that along with his head articulation. He does have swiveled shoulders. He can go out this far, bicep swivel. We saw the double jointed elbows before. He can even go backwards. His wrists or fists are actually attached as a ball joint into the forearm, so you get a little bit of wiggle there. He has separate pointer finger articulation, if you can get it to come out. No other articulation like the thumb and these three, um, middle ring and pinky finger, are all one molded piece. He does have a waist swivel and an ab crunch. And he has ratcheted hips going forward and back, which sound really nice and clicky. Friction joints going out about this far, you run into some interference there. Thigh swivel, and then double jointed knees. So he has the upper knee and then lower knee. So having the legs or, or the wheels slid down or out to the side will give you a little bit more articulation, obviously, because they don't interfere. You can get a really, really nice and deep knee bend with those out of the way. His kneecap pieces, um, like I said, he can, you can have them up, but they're really meant to go down like that. He does have ankle tilt, forward and down. He can point basically upside down as well. And then he has a separate toe articulation right there. So yeah, really nice overall articulation for this figure. This mold's always been pretty nice. Um, as far as articulation goes. So other accessories, like I said, he does have these cape pieces. They come in two uh, separate pieces of cloth. Again, there there is interlined wiring in here that lets you get some uh, poses, but you just push his head through and you can, they're interchangeable, whatever side color you want. You can get it to flare out and look like the wind's blowing it. I don't remember Roller having one of these before, but I could be wrong. But he's only he only shows up <laughs> very sporadically. But you can have him have that look, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it fits his character that much, like I said. But in the worst case, you could always reuse it for something else. Or some other character in your collection. But overall, that's, that's kind of it for the Robot Mode review. Um, as always, I'll take some questions. Let me see if I missed any. While going through, all right. Looks like looks like we're good on questions. Uh, some quick comparisons. I really don't have um, a lot that I brought out, but you can see his mold mate here. This is Thunder Clash, another more than meets the eye favorite. And you can see just how different some of the molding is here, like the feet, the shoulders. Um, this obviously has the extra cannons here and detachable pieces, and then the back transforms slightly differently. But overall, they did a pretty good job, again, being as accurate as possible to both mo modes um, while being realistic. Like I said, the Tarn, Tarn mold is one of my favorite, uh, and Tarn's been actually uh, apparently very hard to get as of late. I don't know if they are planning doing another run or if they did another run, but I'm glad we do get a roller because uh, a lot of people do have a lot of people do have a lot of love for a roller for some reason. Even though, like I said, he doesn't come up a lot. He shows up near the beginning of the whole Karn DJD storyline, and then at the very end when it's revealed, it's obviously not him that is uh, Tarn. 
I don't know, Robert. What uh, what other comparisons would you like? I can pull some out from the IDW line, more than um, Mastermind Creations line, if you'd like. But I didn't plan on doing a, a lot of comparisons. Let's see who what else I have. Um, just for scale purposes, here he is next to X Transbots. Um, uh, Stunticon. What I forget what this version they call him something like something else. I can never remember them. Well, anyways, it's the G2 Breakdown. So he's actually a pretty big bot. Uh, do I have anything else worth comparing him to? Uh, here he is next to a deluxe figure. Oh, actually, no. I think this is... Is this the KO? I think this is the KO oversized version. I can bring out another deluxe figure or something. Here he is next to a masterpiece style seeker. So he's about as tall as Make Toys um, Star Scream, which should give you an idea as far as scale. And I don't think there's not much else I can compare him to that would be <laughs> that would be actually intelligent without going into my IDW shelf. Here he is with Masterpiece Shockwave, official. Yeah, the rest will probably make more sense if I did open up my IDW shelf. But unless you guys have any specific comparisons that you'd like, uh, we'll just leave it at that. I think you guys could get the idea. All right. MMC Tarn. Okay, uh... All right, let me get Tarn. He's just kind of in the back of the, my shelf, so I was kind of avoiding doing that, but let's do it. All right, here we go. Here he is with Tarn. And again, um, they did some pretty decent remolding on his parts to get him to look more like Roller. I still love this figure. He just looks so menacing. They did, oop, they did a great job on Tarn, for sure. And luckily, he doesn't have much of a backpack because he doesn't have those extra wheels. Most of the other versions of this mold have uh, a lot of extra wheels, so... All right. All right, so let's go ahead and transform him back into his alt mode, and we'll finish off the review. I do want to kind of make this one a quick one. All right, so where should we get started? Let's go, go ahead and deal with the backpack. Let's go ahead and extend all this stuff. Flip this around like so. Open up the back backpack piece from that tab that will allow you to open the backpack or his back. Fold in the head. Close that up. Close that. Untab the chest. Bring this up and around and you'll see these two prongs will coincide with these two slots right there. Look like that. Dealing with the arms, shoulders rotated back around. Arms rotated 90 degrees outward, and then using that double hinge, you're going to fold that up. Get the fist really rotated however you'd like, but uh, they recommend having it facing in towards the body. And these two tabs, again, will go in here. Uh, they tend to fall out bec um, a little bit later just because you do have to move the legs a bit to get it fully transformed, so we'll just leave it like that for now. Coming through the back, depending on how you had this trans, uh, transform, go ahead and bring the wheels out and tabbed into the side. They have two tabs here. Straighten out the, the toes. And then on the knees, you have to make sure to rotate all the way at the upper knee joint first, and then the lower knee joint. And that square peg will go into his toe. It's kind of a blind tab, so you could kind of just have to estimate where you, where it is and hope you find he finds its home. There we go. Then you can pull this straight out and down to cover the rear. And same thing on the other side. Again, making sure to rotate at both the upper and no lower knees 90 degrees. 
peeling around for this tab. Hopefully you can find it. There we go. Tab both halves of the knees together there and bring the knee pad cover down. All right. So before we fold this all down, let's go ahead and tab those forearms in. Since the lower legs are now secure, you shouldn't have any issues with this now. So there we go, tightly tabbed. Remember these inner pieces need to fold out. Mm. There we go. This will come down. This tab goes into this rectangular hole there. And finally, this tab goes onto the other side of the forearm finishing off the transformation. All right, we're getting there. All right, there we go. We're back in alt mode. Again, this can slot in here. I'm not gonna bother doing that since mine's a little bit deformed. And I guess since I didn't do any um, comparisons in alt mode, I'll go ahead and do a quick comparison with my stand-in uh, MP, uh, MP streak since he's my go-to figure. He's a little bit longer and quite a bit wider, like twice as wide as MP Streak. And then pretty tall, almost twice the height as MP Streak as well. And that's really it. The only other comparison I'll do in alt mode, uh, just because I have it and I am planning to do a review on it sometime soon, um, is if you guys don't know of the TFC ST Commander. Um, it's a figure that I was anxious to get, but I didn't know why. But now that I have it, I really love it. This figure here, the one that's kind of like G.I. Joe Transformers design inspired. Uh, I think it's from a comic from a while back. This figure is awesome. Uh, I will definitely be doing a review sometime soon. I just got this not too long ago. And this figure is absolutely cool. It's Probably my biggest surprise um, purchase of 2018. It's just really hefty. The transformation is cool. has a lot of die cast. It has a lot of um, playability. Uh, it, this, is, this is just an awesome figure. So expect a live stream review probably in the next week or so of that, even though it's been out for quite a while. But you can see just how big this thing is. All these guns. And this is not even the full armored up vehicle mode. This is like partially. This is called ST Commander from TFC Toys. Yeah, this, this thing is just awesome. These windows open up. This opens up, I think. Now you can see you can see the Optimus head peeking through there. But yeah, it has so many ratchets and um, great posability, fun transformation. The armored up mode is actually kind of cool. It's, it's just a really great figure. So expect that review. Yeah, it, Robert, it's super awesome. I will be doing a review of that very, very soon. I highly recommend it. Um, I think a lot of people probably let it fly under the radar. But um, after I do a review, hopefully more people will pick it up because it is just that cool. All right, well, that's it for the review. Last year review made it a quick one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you guys have any other questions or comments, always, as always, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below if you're watching this later as well. Um, you can always pick this up from my sponsor, Toy Dojo. I'll, remember, I'll try to remember to add the link in the description below. And as always, if you'd like the live streaming views, please let me know. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, um, and I'll keep doing more of these. Yeah. I'll try to give more notice next time. All right? Otherwise, if you want to keep up to date, uh, just subscribe and hit that notification bell and it'll let you know when I schedule a live stream review as well. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hope you have a good one and happy holidays. Oh, yeah, this I still function. Happy holidays. And no, I will not transform MP36.